This essential lockdown is challenging, but it's also an opportunity. It's an opportunity for me to go back to some of the work that I let fall by the wayside several months ago as my life got busy with other things, and now I'm able to pick it back up again. I have a week of vacation. I can get back into some of the videos that I had stopped producing about our trip to the UK last year, and now I can actually finish that series. So today, in the video that you're seeing, we're going back to June 2019 and our trip from Inverness, Scotland to Aberdeen, Scotland. As I will explain in the upcoming video, it was supposed to be by train. It ended up being by car, but nonetheless was an interesting journey across the northern part of Scotland. We find ourselves in Skeen House. This is quite a place. Janice did a lot of research here. She found this place. It's actually the cheapest room we've stayed in so far in our journey. We prepaid, we booked ahead two or three months ago, so we probably got a good rate because of that. But I'm standing in the living room, or I guess you'd call it the lounge. There's a television down there, and the view outside the window will give you that in just a moment. But it's nicely decorated with a table. The lobby downstairs is beautiful, very, very classy. This is actually an apartment. It's an entire apartment. It's not just a, a hotel room. Next we have the kitchen. Now we get a nice view out Holborn Street. In the corner of Holborn and Union Grove here in Aberdeen. How lovely is that? There's no air conditioning in here. So that presents a, a bit of a challenge. As you'll see, we've got the doors propped open with suitcases because they tend to want to close on their own. If we go all the way across over to here, we have a second bedroom with a single bed in it. I'm also going to raise the window here. It doesn't go up very far, but it's a beautiful view of the car park out back here. Very nice indeed. Quite a nice spot. Next to that, we have, I guess you'd call it the master bedroom. So there's the, the larger bed, a little writing desk, and another view of the same car park we showed you just a moment ago, this time through the curtain. A dresser, it's kind of a shame we're only staying here for one night because you could really spread out, unpack your suitcases. As it is, one of the main reasons we got this room was because it had a washer and dryer and also a bathtub, which is a requirement for the lady of the house. She nice, likes to have a nice hot soak at the end of the day after a lot of walking and traveling. So the bathroom is uh, right in here. I guess we didn't show you that. And here is the bathroom. Very nicely done. Lots of uh, ceiling height and appliances and all kinds of stuff. So we're quite safely ensconced in our room here at Skeen House. It was a bit of a rough travel day for us, actually. I guess that's not helping the lighting any. It's a rough travel day. We got ourselves onto the train. Probably the best train seats we've had so far. We had good view of the luggage rack where our luggage was being stored. We had a nice table between us, so we're sitting across from each other on the table next to a large picture window and we were set for probably what would have been the nicest rail journey of the trip all together. Then after we got settled they made a few announcements that there was some kind of spark failure or signal failure or some kind of points failure, they call it a points failure, which I think has to do with switching. And they told us just to sit tight they would have a further announcement and after another 15 minutes or so they announced that the engineers required to fix this failure were too far away. They would not get to it to fix it in time for us to leave at a reasonable time. So they were canceling the entire train, which they did. And when they canceled the train, they had us assemble out in the station common area. And they were on the phones a bit. They had to fiddle and faddle to see what to do with us, whether to put a bus on or, or what. Ultimately, they decided to put on a bunch of taxis and our taxis uh, were eventually assembled and four of us, all of us Canadians, four of us piled into a regular sized car. I sat in the front 
the three ladies sat in the back, which wasn't fair to them, but uh, I, there's no way I could have fit in the back. It was a little Vauxhall semi-station wagon. Kind of a cute car, but uh, not very big. We barely got our bags in the back, uh, and I had to have my very large backpack on my lap basically the entire trip. And with a stop we made in Keith for refreshments and a little bathroom break, uh, it was a good three hours from Inverness to Aberdeen, and probably more than three, because once we got into Aberdeen, the taxi driver, a very nice fellow, he hadn't been to Aberdeen for, by the sound of things, a couple of months. They'd rerouted some streets, they closed off some things, turned one street one way coming at us, which is the street he intended to use to get us to the train station. So we did a few laps around the place, and that didn't help. And we finally got, uh, finally got to the drop-off point only to have to walk about 15 or 20 minutes uh, here. But it could have been a lot worse. It was pouring rain when we left. It poured rain probably two-thirds of the trip here. And by the time we got here, the sun was out. And it was a lovely day, actually. So our walk was not shrouded in rain. Uh, if it were, we probably would have ordered a cab. But uh, we struck out and walked it here, which uh, probably we shouldn't have done. Probably should have ordered a taxi anyway after what we'd gone through. But Anyhow, it was uh, an interesting day so far. It's around 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. We had a late breakfast, about 10 o'clock or 9.30, with a little snack on the way, so probably the next order of business will be to get ourselves an early supper, or a late, late lunch, I guess you'd call it, and then settle in. We have some chores to do. We have to do some laundry, of course. Uh, that's why we got this place, was we knew that the amount of clothes we could bring with us on this trip would basically run out about now. And indeed, it's time to do a whole load, of, several loads probably of laundry just to get our, our clothing uh, back in shape to rewear for the rest of our trip. So, good day from Aberdeen. More video to follow. After I finished making that video, Janice and I went across the street to a nice little sports pub. As you can see, there were TV screens everywhere showing all kinds of sports matches. We had a bit of a, an appetizer sampler that we turned into supper. It was uh, quite lovely, very close by to the hotel. After that, we scooted back across the street, did our laundry, some other chores that we had to get caught up on, and then turned in for an early night. The next morning uh, dawned crisp and bright and very clear, beautiful. I took a little video of the kitchen window. You can see some of the morning traffic starting to circulate and some students going to school. Uh, at that point, we made our way to the Aberdeen train station for what became our most beautiful train trip of the entire journey, which was Aberdeen to Edinburgh. And I'll show you that video tomorrow.